Yo, this is Zist. Today we're going to be taking a big picture look at the Lyra input system. Lyra uses both the common UI and the enhanced input plugin to achieve its input. First, it sends input to common UI. Any of the UI layers can consume the input from order of decreasing priority. Here, for example, in UI.layer.game, the Lyra HUD does not consume the input and instead allows it to flow to the Enhanced Input plugin. While playing the game, if you press the Escape key, however, on UI.Layer.Menu, a new menu will come up and consume all input. There's no input going to Enhanced Input anymore. None of your input mappings have any effect. All of the input is being consumed by this Priority 3 input layer. Closing the menu returns to the previous state, activating enhanced input. You can change the input mapping contexts at runtime. For example, if the player possesses a vehicle, you could add an IMC vehicle input mapping, which would intercept the W key, for example, and instead of moving forward, would cause the vehicle to accelerate. As long as this IMC vehicle exists with a higher priority than the IMC humanoid, then the vehicle will get accelerate input. Disabling IMC vehicle causes the input to go back to IMC humanoid, where it's interpreted once again as move forward. W overall UI layout. This is a primary game layout, which itself is a common user widget and this is exported by the Common Game plugin. Back in the design mode for W overall UI layout, we see here there are some stacks. For example, here the game layer stack. We can see that it is a common activatable widget stack, which itself is a common activatable widget container base. Now there are several different types of these. This one is a stack. You can see down below here there's also a queue and you can implement your own container if you prefer as well. Here in the event graph for W overall UI layout, we see that on initialization, each of the four layers are registered with the primary game layout. For example, the game layer stack is registered with ui.layer.game, and that's the one that we're going to primarily use for our in-game HUD. There are some others. There's ui.layer.gamemenu, ui.layer.menu, and ui.layer.modal, which are used for different things. For example, we see at the top here, there's some documentation that Epic has given us regarding specifically these layers and how to do things with these layers, etc. The order that the layers are registered is important. Registration proceeds with the order of increasing input priority. W Shooter HUD layout. This widget defines the layout of our HUD. You'll see it looks quite familiar. This is a layout only blueprint. If you look at the graph, you'll see there's a big note that says, do not put code in this blueprint. This derives from Lyra HUD layout, which itself is a Lyra activatable widget. Looking at this in detail, you'll see there are many UI extension point widgets here. For example, the extension point reticle. A UI extension point widget is a U dynamic entry box base, which is part of the UI extension plugin distributed with Lyra. We can see here that the extension point tag for the reticle is hud.slot.reticle. A look at the reference viewer for hud.slot.reticle shows a couple of different assets. The most interesting one is LAS Shooter Game Standard HUD. This is a Lyra experience action set, which should be familiar to you as they're all over Lyra. This particular one contains an add widgets game feature action. This causes the shooter HUD layout to load for the ui.layer.game layer and it then loads in a bunch of different widgets for each UI extension point, including the reticle. So there's a quick overview of Lyra input. If this video doesn't suck, like, subscribe, leave me a comment, 
share it with somebody who you think might find it useful. Have a nice day. Happy developing.